Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. So today is a um, another sneak peek at um, some of the products that are re being released um, November 1st at ScrapDivaDesigns.com. This is Erica's website. And here is all of her um, social media. Be sure you follow along with the hashtag ScrapDivaDesigns. That gives tons of inspiration from design team members and others who um, create with her dies. So be sure and check that out for inspiration. So I have been playing with a lot of them. Um, I see I've got just stacks of dies are all mixed up. And hopefully I can remember which one goes to which when I get done. Anyway, I posted a picture on Instagram um, at right after I received my dies. This is the first thing I started to make. So I wanted to come on and share with you, um, you know, a more in-depth look at this. So this is the um, Elf Shoe Mini Album. I love this so much. It is so cute. Um, for these projects, I'm sharing with you now, I'm using the um, Snowflake Collection from Crate Paper. I don't have very much of it, but I love it and I'm using kind of what I have. <laughs> so. I went ahead and made a mini album of it out of it um it has three base you know three um of the base pieces so you got your outside um this piece that's in white this is your biggest piece so that's kind of like your base piece you got this next uh size that is the green layer and then this one a little bit smaller that is this white pattern paper layer okay and then it also comes with this layering piece up here for the um you know like the boot cuff okay it comes with the little bells. There's five little bells that come with it. It is so cute. And then it also comes with the um, piece here, this three hole piece to make it a mini album. I have mine tied together with just some tool, real simply. Um, I went ahead and did three layers on the front. I'm also using the um, Christmas Word set one and two. I think there's three sets, I only have two of them. Um, so I use this one, I layered it up. Um, I'm also using right here the um, Elf Bow. There are three different sizes of it. This is the smallest one. Okay. Um, I use the bell, cut them out with in gold, and then I also cut them out in foam and kind of popped them up and just put them right here. Um, another one could go right here, but I decided that I wanted to, rather than put the bell there, I wanted to hang a charm. If I can get it unhooked here. So a, I hung this cute little um, snowflake charm from his, you know, the toe of his of his shoe. Um, then I layered up a chipboard piece from, uh, I don't even know what collection that's from, a long time ago. Um, some trim up here, this pretty, you know, ruffled pink velvet trim. And then another piece of ephemera from the same collection, which again, I don't know where, where it's from. So that is the first page. Okay, I didn't decorate this a ton, but I wanted to do a little bit, so I kind of just have a few pieces here and there. So this is the back page, this is the back of this page. So again, this is the biggest base layer back here in the white, and then the second layer in green. Okay, I didn't do the third layer on this page. And then I just put a piece of ephemera here. I only tacked it down on this side, so um, I could still use this as a place for a picture. Um, I uh, Obviously, I sandwiched the... Um, you know, the um, piece that makes it a mini album, I sandwiched that in between the, the, all the layers in there, okay? Um, this next one, it has all three of the layers, the white, this um, kind of grayish green, and then the other green on top of there. Um, this one, I didn't layer up the cuff piece. Um, I didn't tack this front piece down on the top so that I could tuck, um, a couple of tags down in there. So these are a couple of tags from the collection. I um, used a hole reinforcer from Heidi Swap up there and then some tool. And then I just have them stuck in here. So I could put a picture there or journaling or whatever. And then those just um, stick straight down inside here of the, of the boot. So there's those. Okay, I also used, here's another, the, the elf bow. This is again the small one. And then I used the bell from this, from the boot, elf boot, uh, or elf shoe um, mini album. And I put that right there in the center. 
Okay. I also used a die set that is called, um, what is it called? <coughs> Let me find my paper here. It's called Branches, Ornaments, and Wreath um, Set. So um, this is one of the circle pieces that comes with it. It has all these branches like built into it. Okay, um, let me see, I have that die right here so I can share it with you. Um, so it has a bunch of pieces. So it has the, you know, this one, and then it has this other one. Okay, so <clears throat> these two, okay. And then you also have this, the circle, that cuts out the circle piece, which is right here, okay. And then um, it has all these other different branch pieces, different, you know, different, um, you know, one piece or three pieces, you know, that kind of thing to layer up. So what I did on that one was I just cut it out of um, <clears throat> gold, gold foil. And let's see, I didn't layer up any of the other branches. This is all just like the one layer just from this one side. Okay, so that's that page. And then this side, <clears throat> pretty simple. I just, I used um, some more of the words from the Christmas word set one and two. I think these words are from set one. <clears throat> so I got the word carols. Um, this one has just got a little chipboard piece from that same collection I have been using. Um, this little ephemera piece from a different collection. And then the word angel, um, also from Christmas words one. And I just put that across there. Now this one, I just, okay, so this one here, I did the base layer and then the next layering piece. And on this way layer, I did the base piece and then I did the even smaller layering piece. So you can see the bigger gap between these two than, you, than it is on this one. But then I did use the layering piece for the cuff up here also on this one. Okay. And then here's this one. So again, the big base piece and then the smaller layering piece. And then I layered it up with the pink. And then another one of the elf bows, a small one. This is a piece of ephemera. Well, it's a, it's like a layered up sticker piece. And then I put the word tinsel across there. Um, everything I made to where it's only attached, you know, on one side so I can still tuck um, pictures under. Uh, and this is from a completely different set, <laughs> this uh, little bulb here. And then I got this cute little um, shaker, you know, snow globe. That's from this same set, but it's different from the rest. I put a cute little bow right here. Another one of the elf bows. Again, it's a small one. I um, This one I attached a little regular little bell hanging through here. And then I used one of my little flowers that I got from Laureate Creating for Fun on there for the center of the bow. So this one just has the big layer in the back, the base layer, and then the next size. So you can see all the different looks you get. And you can layer up all three layers each time if you want to, or just two, or you can just do the base layer and not even layer it up, you know, if you if you don't want to. I just like, I always like to have 110 pound cardstock um, for my base layer, um, just to give it all the sturdiness. On all these pieces, there is a 110 pound piece of paper inside, and there's a pattern paper on each opposite side. So like this one has this color, and then I guess I put the same color on those. So. But anyway, so that's three layers with 110 in the middle. Okay, so it gives it nice sturdiness, okay? And then the back page is just, I just pretty much left it blank other than tapping a little chipboard sticker, right? Uh, snowflake right there. And then I'll put my little, you know, my little um, name tag thing down here. So I think that turned out so pretty. And you know, what a fun little you know, you could do it for yourself or you could make some gifts for these for family members and stuff. Have it all ready and give them for, you know, so they can, um, you know, put pictures and stuff. And you could even print out pictures for them and have it all made up for them and gift them something like this for Christmas. I know a lot of people in my family would really like that. Especially, you know, if you have people who have passed. Um, I think it is a real thoughtful gift for something like that. Um, I think it would be a very, you know, heartfelt gift. So anyway, um, this is my Elf Shoe mini album. Love it, love it, love it. Okay.
let me go ahead and share with you. I think I'm going to share with you the other thing also. <laughs> this is the three, let's see. What's the actual name is 3D Mini Claw Machine. Okay. So cute. Okay. And I saw other people, um, you know, starting theirs and I've seen people's comments about how intimidating it looks. And I've heard, you know, a design team member say the same thing. And I was, I looked at all these things and I went, oh my gosh, <laughs> I'm going to have to try and figure this out. Um, but actually it is super simple. Um, to make the actual, just the box, you only have like six pieces. I mean, you got your sides. Uh, I think this is the back. Back, your two sides. This is the bottom. Um, this is the front. It comes up, it comes up right here like that. And then this is the lid. I mean, so really the 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 box itself the 3d project itself is very simple to put together i was shocked because <laughs> i was like oh my gosh <laughs> there are so many pieces there's two pages both sides covered of all the parts that come with it but this these six pieces are all you that's required to put together the base you know just to build the base so and the, i'm talking about everything that you see here in the pink Okay, <clears throat> this is like I told you before. I always like to use 110 pound cardstock in my projects. I'll usually cover them with some other pattern paper, but I start out with 110 just to give it nice sturdiness. Okay, <clears throat> now all you know, now what do you all the extra pieces are you know to like to make the actual claw machine? And there's three words. Um, I think it says winner, luck. I think that says, I think it's good luck, winner, and candy. <clears throat> so there's four, um, you know, layered, shadowed words. This is another border that you can use or not use. I did not use this. Um, little decorative pieces, little swirls. I did use that um, down here, but I've covered it up. <laughs> This piece here, there's like two, I think there's two of these, the base layer and then the layering piece. So if you can see, there's two of these layered up to give it, you know, the the color shining through for, from the back. Um, I think the rest of my pieces are over there. I think there's two sets of these. So there's two hearts and then two of the swirlies, so you don't have to cut out, you know, so often. There's the little squares and stuff to make, um, you know, like your coin slot and your buttons and that kind of stuff. Um, there is this little piece here that has all these little banner pieces that comes with it. Um, I didn't use these on here and I don't have the, that piece, the die over here, but there are these pieces that go, can go on the corners. So there's two sizes of those. Okay. <coughs> so there are tons of pieces and it makes it look overwhelming, but trust me guys, this was super easy. I was shocked too. So all these other, all the other bigger pieces that I don't have over here because I was, I had left them over where I was die cutting. But, so you have all these other layering pieces. So, and you can tell when they're the layering pieces because most everything that Erica has now these, these days is stitched. So you can tell your layering pieces are the stitch pieces, okay? So, you know, I had this. So here's the, let's see, is this the lid? Yeah, so here's the lid, okay? But then it has layering pieces um, for this, these two side pieces here, and then the for smaller piece for these two end pieces. There's your layering piece for the top. So, which you can use or not use, just depends on what you do. I always layer because, like I say, I always start off with just a plain color, um, 110 pound uh, cardstock. So, anyway, if you look inside there, you can see you can see that my, um, there's my little, it's kind of hard to show this. This is my little um, claw back hanging down in there. And mine, I actually attached a charm to it so that it looks like I've caught this little charm. I hung this cute little um, angel charm on it. 
So it looks like I caught that in the claw machine. So, and then I put a, you know, I used the banner piece right here and just tied it across. Um, my sides, I had done, I did vellum and I actually did the front vellum too because I was forgetting you want to see the claw piece in there. I was just thinking, you know, just to <laughs> make it look different. So I had this uh, vellum on the front too and then I had to replace it and put the things I wanted to, of course, be able to see the claw machine. But I had forgot all about that when I started, uh, you know, putting in the, the windows and stuff. So it's got that vellum on both sides. I just used some, these are some thickers from a collection I had and then a, a flower that was in my stash. I put one of these on both sides of the side windows and it's, this is the uh, border ruffle from uh, Scrap Diva's um, October release. Okay, so here's all the little layering pieces. This in green, this is just a sticker word from some sticker book that I have. Okay, um, so here's my little controls and my little um, coin slot. I didn't put the little handle on, I just I just went with this. I got those cute little, um, these little swirly things right here. These are underneath here, but then I ended up covering, putting that word piece on the front just because I want to decorate a little bit, but I didn't want to cover up, you know, the whole scene. So I only decorated this and just put a little, you know, glitter a uh, snowflake there and then a flower on top of it. Again, here's the other side with another uh, gold foam piece from a, a Thickers collection and another um, flower and then another piece of the border there. Okay, and then I just attached some beads on the bottom for legs. And then what I did, what I made mine a little bit different. So it has kind of, this is, this is the first one I did. So I really was working, I was like, I want my claw machine to actually move. So what I did was um, I used from this Oct uh, October release too, Erica had released another um, slider die set. Um, this one has longer pieces. Um, so I used this one, but I could have went with the first slider set that had shorter pieces. But since this was already out on my desk, I went ahead and used this and I just adjusted it so it would be short. Um, so I thought that would be good enough, um, and I attached my claw with a, um, this is a little, um, it's a little, let me show you here, it's a little, like, ornament from, like, the mini ornament section. I, I can't remember if these were from Hobby Lobby or from Walmart, but they're just like these little things, because I wanted something to be able to hook, you know, the claw to, and then hang down. And then this will be the handle. So that's what I use. I just, I cut it out. I cut the claw, actual claw piece out two or three times um, using the um, 110 pound uh, cardstock pink. And then that, then I, so then I had my um, hole up here, but because it was wide, um, like it wasn't like the, ball and everything kept like tipping over and that was another reason for adding the charm on the bottom because it gave the weight to hang down there to keep this from just like tipping over and and so what I did I had to do another piece after I had uh, used that die to cut the hole it was because it was so wide I ended up having to I cut another piece and then I just cut a slit <laughs> in this so that it would stick through so it's kind of um, kind of funky looking up here and when I do another one I'll do it better but I was just you know doing it as I went this is my first one I put together I usually don't go this all out on the first one but I did on this one who knows why but um, so yeah so from underneath you can still see you can see the little slot um, but I had to just take my um, you know my craft knife and just cut a slit in there from the top to make it um, more snug around you know the little piece so that it didn't um, just like tip over and fall out okay so anyway you can move my little so my little claw machine actually can move back and forth <laughs> so I thought that turned out cute and again this little um, charm on the bottom helps the weight of it and see I have it with the pink uh, 110 pound cardstock and it's layered up a couple times and then I just looped it through the little <clears throat> um, you know the whole thing on top of the on top of this ornament you can see right there hopefully you can see so anyway I think that turned out really cute and I like how it 
actually moves. So anyway, I just thought that was the cutest thing so I can move my little thing back. So anyway, that is my first try at the um, 3D mini claw machine. Isn't that cute? I'm gonna fill it up with some stuff. You know, of course, won't just leave it empty, but I thought that was the cutest. So anyway, in the back, here's the back, just uh, plain. So that is a couple of my projects so far. I have another couple that I've done, but I, I think I'll sh I'm gonna do um, uh, another one or two versions of it before I share it. But anyway, so today is the 31st Halloween. Happy Halloween, everybody. Um, those, all these dyes will be available, um, I believe at midnight tonight, okay? Um, I've already posted a video sharing um, doing an unboxing of all the dies that I received. There's more. I didn't receive all the dies. Um, so I will, um, I have them all listed down there already. There's no links, of course, because they weren't available yet. But as soon as I'll stay up late and um, <laughs> I'll stay up late and put the links in for you guys so that you can um, just go there and, you know, watch the video again and you'll be able to, to well, you don't have to watch the video again. You can just go to the, go to the links. Duh. And <laughs> go and um, pick you up some of these great dies. There's a lot, of, a lot of fun ones in this release. Um, and like I said, I didn't receive all of them, so I'll just um, link the ones that I um, received. Um, I'll have my um, discount code listed. It's Polka Ten, P O L K A Ten. So make sure you use that if you decide to purchase any, because it'll save you some money. And then I'll also have my affiliate link linked also. So if you do use that link if you decide to purchase it, it shares a little bit of the profit with me but it doesn't cost you guys anymore and I really appreciate those of you who do that I, it it's very helpful to me so thank you so much for watching um enjoy your Halloween hope everybody has a great time be safe and I will be back uh <laughs> late tonight to add in those links for you guys okay talk to you guys soon bye bye